Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Burb Lock. How are we all doing today? Let us jump right on in with a quick team recap as I lay out our plan for this week. First up, we've got Kenya the Fero. Keen Eye Ability, Mirror Move, Fury Attack, Pursuit, Aerial Ace. Next up, we've got Sora, the Pidgeotto, Tangle Feet Ability, Gust, Twister, Send Attack, Quick Attack. Then we've got Sigrid, the Murkrow, Super Luck Ability, Pursuit, Peck, Nightshade, Wing Attack. Then we've got Blathers, the Knocked Out, the Hero from Friday. Somnia Ability, Uproar, Peck, Four, Sights, and Confusion. Then we've got Wingbird, the Togetic, Serene Grace Ability, Metronome, Yawn, Extra Sentry, Headbutt. And last but not least, we've got Ducky. The side duck. Cloud nine ability, tail whip, water gun, surf, and confusion. Oh, so what's our goal? Today's goal is to get on up to the Lake of Rage. Let me pull up my uh, guide that I've been following. Because want to make sure we don't, uh, you know, die or anything. All right. See, any burbs up here, uh, Pidgeotos? And knocked owls. But nothing we care about. Nothing in headbutt, nothing in surf. Alright! So, um, yeah, our goal is right now we're gonna train up Firo because we're gonna be utilizing Firo against Chuck when we get there, which will not be this week, most likely. Or it could be Friday, who knows? But no, we're gonna go up. Today is our goal. Today's goal is to take out the Red Gyarados, and then go take the red scale we get from the Red Gyarados and deliver it to Mr. Pokemon to get the EXP share. That's our goal. Uh, the next goal will be to most likely take out the Rocket Hideout. Uh, really, it's going to depend on our levels versus their levels, which, if I remember absolutely correctly, their levels are abysmal. But I'm going to go double check that real fast. Nothing flying in there. Yeah, they're all level like 20. There is somebody with. Three Magnemites, though. I know who it is. Oh, God. And then we have to take off three Electrodes, though. At level 23. Never mind. We're going to be uh, working on Sacred. But that's most likely going to be Wednesday's episode. And then Friday, we're going to be heading our way over to Chuck. Mm -hmm. na, 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 na. Yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to just have to lead with Sacred for the next couple of episodes just to get those levels we need up. We got a lot of electric types coming up, and then after that, uh, got some rock types, uh, ice gym, which I still haven't figured out how we're dealing with. <sighs> Togetic. I think we're gonna have to rely on Togetic. What is your attack stat? 35! All right, I don't have a plan. Ugh, it does so much damage, though. I need berries that reduce super effective moves or something. I need a lot of somethings. <sighs> Alright. Thunder 
wave, which is thunder not okay. This upcoming chick has a Clefairy, which, whatever, easy to take care of. And I do have a berry on our person, which does not hold a lot, but yeah, we only have Pit, Pecha and Chesto berries right now. Which is not what I would consider something good. Are you gonna like a rage? Let's play first. Uh, sure. I played too much. I need to get my hands on a dusk stone. Where can I get a dusk stone? A haunch crow would have significantly better stats. Let's see if I can't Google this. Let's see. Dusk. That's desk. Dusk stone hard gold. Can't keep battling. Double kick's an issue. The Cerulean Cave. Ugh. The Pocathlon. Mm. I think I actually need, uh... I would need a, um, I, I think I need the Dex. I don't think I can evolve it until I beat, uh, Johto and get to Kanto or something. I don't, ugh. Oh boy. Gira Farig. Slow bro, hopefully. Just gotta get Sacred up higher and higher and higher. Oh. I need a fight. I need fighting moves somehow. Would you get this? Some red haired kid made fun of my precious. Pokemon! Well, rip, dude. Alright. Nerd has been taken out. Don't care about you. 
I saw a red Gyarados. Let's take care of this Red Gyarados. Um, nah, I, I, I want to be over two Dragon Ranges. I mean, worst case scenario, we run. Uh, let's see. Let me double check to see what would be the best move. Um, let's see. Nothing in here except for Gyaradoses and Magic Carp. Gyarados. Flying is normal and dark is normal, so use my best flying move. Yasha! You're level 30, though. The only scary thing? It's been so long since I've seen actual red Gyarados, seeing as I'm used to just randomizing it. <laughs> I forgot, your intimidate sucks. Oh dear god. No, I'm not dealing with your silly bullshit here. I'll kill this tiny magic carp in anger. Yeah, when I saw how much damage we were doing and how long it was gonna take, I was just like, no, not the thing for me, you know. Then I have to look up the learn set for Psyduck again, see if I can't teach it any ice moves or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I help you investigate? Absolutely. And then Lance goes to head to Macogany Town and asks us to go join him, which we will do a little bit later. By the way, never enter this building. Like, you can and avoid all these trainers in the grass, but you have to pay to go both up and down. So you will pay for it each time. And in my opinion, that is not worth it. All right. <sighs> you know, I just thought of something. Maybe the best option is for us to go through the rocket hideout all the way up until I have to deal with the electrodes. But then stop. and come back. And deal with it later when we're a little bit stronger. Fight a bunch of trainers on our way down to uh, a Cinewood, Sea and Wood. Beat the Sea and Wood gym. Uh, we're gonna have to fight our way up the lighthouse. Yeah, no, we're, we're, de we're definitely not getting to Chuck this time. Because I forgot about the lighthouse. Yeah, we gotta do the lighthouse. Uh, let me look up Psyduck. Psyduck might actually be uniquely uh, qualified to take out ice Pokemon. I don't remember if water would uh, dilute the whole... I actually resistant to ice! Oh, Psyduck's flat water, dude! I thought it was water flying. Let's go! Hell yeah, dude! Alright, not as worried anymore about the uh, ice gym. Psyduck's gonna lead that charge! La da la! What level is 
Jasmine's. 30, 30, 35. That's mostly gonna be Ducky's wheelhouse there. Except for the two Magnemites. The two Magnemites are the exact reason why we're not going to utilize Ducky at first. But Ducky will need to be uh, leveled up for it. All right, we're almost to Mr. Pokemon's house. We're actually gonna have to drop off Ducky here for a quick uh, minute. Why? Because if we want the quick way to um, Mr. Pokemon's house, you need cut. Sorry, Ducky. Just sit right there for a quick minute. I think... I'm trying to think what good options we would have available for our team and everything. That's the guy right here uh, that we need to deliver the uh, Kenya uh, mail to. He gives you... Snore? I don't remember what he gives you. He gives you some item. This is not the shortcut tree, but it is a shortcut. The shortcut tree is down here in three, two, one, Mr. Pokemon's house. That red scale, what's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare, I, I want it. Would you care to trade? I'll give you this EXP share. Nice. Nice. All right, um. All right. Kenya, for right now, you are gonna be holding on to the EXP share. Simply because uh, we're going to be utilizing it next. Uh, and once we have to switch to giving it to, or having Kenya lead to take out the next set of Pokemon, we will uh, give it to Ducky. And of course... That was the worst wandering legendary we could have found. Thankfully, he's just gonna run. <laughs> I was just like, what's that? Oh, wandering legendary. No biggie. La da da da. Imagine if it actually just attacked and we lost sacred. I'm joking. We wouldn't lose sacred that easily. Most likely. <whistles> All right, Ducky, back in the team. <laughs> huh. All right, I'm gonna do a quick save right here simply because this game is known for crashing or glitching or glitch crashing. So every now and then just save, doesn't hurt. Ducky. 
highest level Pokemon we're gonna have to fight is a level 27 Murkrow, which, <laughs> I got a Murkrow for you. Get, 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 get. Which we probably won't get to today. I'm trying to figure out how I'm actually gonna take out some of these Pokemon, to be honest. Arbok, pretty uh, hefty. There's a lot of poison, actually. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn around and go buy some more healing items. Why am I not buying healing items in, um, wherever we are? Uh, wherever we're heading? Simple. Uh, there are none. Uh, it's the Mart. There is a front for Team Rocket, which you'll see soon. And right now, the only thing you could buy is slow poke tails. Once you finish the rocket stuff, then it turns into a normal barn. Yeah. Nine would probably be a good idea. All right, these we have. Ugh. Let's get 19 of these. Let's get six of these. Seems good. What do you have, sir? Why isn't there an air ball for flying types for my birds? Whatever. What do you want, Ethan? Hello? Always look for your Pokemon setters! Ethan. Ethan. I've had more adventures in my lifetime than you've been alive and a twinkle in your dad's eye. So fuck off, mate. <sighs> Why did I pop here? Even though it's gonna take longer, it was just to avoid a random fight. Then you go in here, which is the Mart slash front. Dragonite Hyper Beam, a man. He's dead. What took you so long? Just as I thought that strange radio signal is coming from here. The stairs are right here. Probably should split up, check this place. I'll go first. Oh, that guy's dragon type Pokemon are tough. Yeah. You found the secret stairway. How did you do that? I thought it was well camouflaged. Bro, I've broken into your base like a billion times. So be prepared to fight the same two fights here over and over and over. I'm actually going to um, willingly fight these over and over. Specifically for the um, experience that we're about to get for it. Especially since he's got a drowsy. So we can one shot with pursuit. And then a zoo battle. We're doing this for Sacred to get experience, as well as um, Kenya to get experience. Once I'm satisfied Kenya has enough experience, I'm actually going to throw it onto Sora. Because, um... Well, we need to keep getting Sora up higher. Plus, Blathers is, what, 28, 29? Sora's like 25, 26. But yeah, like I said, like... If you fought Chuck and then Jasmine, you'd have you'd be able to counter level 35 Pokemon at this point. But these Pokemon you're fighting, the highest level is 27 total. Like, it doesn't make sense. And to add to that, um, if you go to Mahogany Town's gym, the ice gym. The leader has a level 34 as his highest level. Like... What? 
It doesn't make sense. The pacing. That's why I'm always like, uh, I feel like they messed up what, like, the order you're supposed to go. But... Alright, so we'll fight those two dudes every time we pass a Persian statue. Which we're going to do. So we're about to fight another drowsy. They, they literally never change it. It's always going to be the exact same fights. Oh, sorry, it was a zoo battle. Don't forget, Kenya grows at an exponential rate because it's a traded Pokemon. Which means we also kind of have to be careful how high they're going to get. Ah, uh, Popsicle Sticks. I didn't actually think about that. Um, How high do we want them to go then? I don't know. Should probably go figure out um, the level of that gym, but meh. Alright, this person to the left of us is a uh, trip, a quadruple ratatat uh, trainer. Lucky punk. Okay, we're currently ten levels higher than the Magnemite. I might risk it, because we've got to start getting prepared for the Magnemites. Gotta be able to counter them. And I know we don't currently have a counter for it, but we've got to get one. I'll think it over and see if we're gonna do it uh, later. Uh, we're basically out of time, so I'm gonna go back up and heal. And call it there. We'll continue taking on the rocket base here next time. And, um... Yeah! I think that is where we will call it for today. So... Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody, stay funky people.